titled Singing and Cultural Peace. And so he was running a particular clinic in Iowa, and he asked his choristers if they would go up to the board and write down words on the board that meant unity, or teamwork, or cooperation, or peace, or singing, um, togetherness, cooperation, I might have said that twice. Um, anyway, when he was done, and the, and the kids were done, he looked at the board and he couldn't believe all the words that were on the board. And he said, I have to do something with this. I have to make music with this. So what he ended up doing was deciding that it would be best if the kids taught the other kids the language, like their word that meant, that meant peace or whatever, to the other choristers. And they thought he thought it would be best to do it in a call and response way. So the kids that knew the word would call out and sing the word, and the rest of the choristers would echo it back. And that was the premise behind the song Sahaita. Um, so, do you all know what call and response is? Do you know? They don't even know I'm going to do this to you right now. So, are you ready? All right, I'm going to call out part of this song, and you are going to sing with me. Are you ready? Yes? I, I believe that since they're so talented, that you have to be pretty darn talented as well, right? So, Washirika. Bayaniha, Washirika, Bayaniha, Ekta. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> so, some of your kids right now um, are going to come front and they're going to um, tell you the words that you're going to hear, the vocabulary to this song. They're going to tell you the country that the word is from the language that it's in, and then ultimately the meaning of the word, and then we'll sing it for you, okay? Meaning, I will sing for you. Bala Nihon is from the Philippines, in Filipino, meaning cooperation. Ekta! Ekta! From India, in Hindi, meaning unity. Halo Halo, from the Philippines, in Filipino, meaning melting pot. Mgawila from Sierra Leone in Mendi meaning oneness. Peace and joy from the United States in English meaning peace and joy. So the heart off from Nepal in Sanskrit meaning helpfulness. Salah from Egypt in Arabic meaning peace. Selah from Ethiopia in Amharic meaning peace. Shalom from Israel in Hebrew meaning peace, hello, goodbye. From Namibia in Iran, in a meaning praise the Lord. Unida from Chile in Spanish, meaning unity. Wasi Rika from Zimbabwe in Swahili, meaning congregation. Thank <laughs> you. 
auditioned and came in and practiced, took their music to their piano teachers, had been meeting with uh, me during win, um, sometimes during lunch, um, so that they can be ready. Being a solo piano player is something completely different than accompanying 87 kids, right? Um, so they've all grown a lot and learned a lot and put a lot of time and energy into it. And Veer also uh, played djembe on the, uh, the eighth grade, some of the eighth grade choir concert on Monday, and then he came back out again tonight. So if you could please give it up for all of the awesome accompanists that are here in Southern Thank you. Really, really want to make this heard, okay? Um, when these kids came in in September, I had no idea what I was walking into. Um, again, because we've been virtual for a year and a half. And I literally sent Amy Carter and Maureen Fernandez from Millstone and Village multiple emails <laughs> and said, you might have thought last year was really, really hard because it has been really hard for us. Um, singing through a mask and singing to a computer screen has been very upsetting and hard and it's frustrating for them. But I sent Maureen Fernandez and Amy Carter a messages and said, these kids are great and you need to know that whatever you did for the last year and a half has paid off because they're doing an awesome job. Um, so I just want to say that publicly because nothing would happen in this district if it wasn't for the feeder programs that we have. Um, whether you're talking the band, orchestra, choir, whatever it is, it is the people that are below us that build the program, and I am forever and eternally grateful for all that they do. So I know they're not here, but you're going to give them a round of applause. Music department, as I say, I know some of you are going to see me for three years, and I say the same things, but the reality is we are a team, and our load of coming out to all of these concerts is always lighter because we're here for each other. Um, so please give it up for the entire music department because everybody's here. Yeah. Thank you to the administration, to the teachers in this building who are awesome, um, to our supervisor, Mr. Santoro, um, and also to all of you for encouraging your kids to keep singing. Again, none of this would be possible without your love and support of your kids. So thank you so much, and you're giving them a round of applause. I don't think I did. Um, if I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, last but certainly not least, our last song is We Will, um, written by Jim Papoulis. Um, if you come back and hear many of our concerts, you'll hear us do music by Jim Papoulis all the time. He's wonderful, and he writes really age-appropriate middle school music, not only just the music itself for their changing voices, but also the subject matter. The song We Will was originally written 20 years ago, right after 9-11. Um, and the message is just beautiful about strength and we will sing together um, and it's still appropriate um, and I think it's a really great message for them to leave you with tonight so please enjoy we will
That's all. Sorry. <laughs> um, so as Ms. Keogh said earlier, um, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to ask the kids to leave the risers in just a second. Um, and they're going to go out and then they will meet you either in the lobby or in the commons. And if you can take your patients with you to the parking lot because of all the transitions that's happening, that would be great. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. Have a great night. Thank you.